Good afternoon. This is Brother Cannon. I have not done a Facebook Live in a very long time. And I'm not going to be very long today. Just a few minutes. I saw this statement on Facebook today. And I, it bears something that it, I, it prompted something in my spirit to say to you. If you're a child of God, please listen to what I'm about to say for the next few minutes. The statement is, you tell America a virus is sweeping the nation and they panic and prepare. You tell them Jesus is coming and they do nothing. Read it through again. You tell America a virus is sweeping the nation and they panic and they prepare. You tell them Jesus is coming and they do nothing. When I saw that, I said, that's where this is. You see this coronavirus going around? People going to stores and buying that stuff. I saw pictures the other day where people went to stores and just buying out everything, even onions and garlic. They're talking about all the shortages of masks. They're talking about now they have a place where you go and drive up for testing and people are holding the lines up who don't have anything wrong with this one, make sure. Nothing wrong with being sure. But you don't have any symptoms, but you're going to check to see if you got symptoms. Panic. I was in, in, in Walmart this morning. My grandson pointed out to me and said, Look, he showed me the paper out with tall tissue stuff, all gone. Panic battery. And they told us over and over in, in this thing. And I'm just listening very carefully. I, I, like I said, I'm here just for a few minutes. They said that the majority of people who will get the coronavirus may not even recognize they got it. And they may have it be so mild they don't even realize they have it. They said if you're young, your chances are very good of surviving it. If you're in this earlier, uh, later ages of life, your chances are slim of, of surviving it. And yet, People are panic, panicking over the uh, coronavirus. It's not time to panic, people. It's time to pray. 2 Chronicles 7, 14 still says, If my people which are called by my name will humble themselves and pray, seek my face and turn from the wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and heal their land. It's time to pray. All panic going to do is cause it to come more and more and more and more. But when you pray and have faith in God and believe God, then you see God stand up. I heard a prophecy the other day say that coronavirus is not going to be here that long because the people of God are praying against it and they're overwhelming it with their prayers. And, and that's a good statement. That's a good prophecy. But if we don't have faith in God, but if we have faith in the coronavirus, then our prayers ain't going to do us no good. We got to learn how to channel our faith into God, turn to God, and seek God's face. I want to say this to the children of God, and, and, and this is very important to you, children of God. Deuteronomy 7 9 says that God is a faithful God that keeps covenant. You must realize that and believe that. He's faithful and he will keep covenant. So in the midst of the coronavirus, instead of panicking, child of God, have faith. Yes, respect coronavirus. Do what they tell you to do. Wash your hands. Do the things that... <laughs> I heard one lady say this. She said, as my daughter-in-law said it first, I give her credit first. She said, you know, Daddy, the thing they tell us to do are things we should already be doing. Wash your hands. Be careful what you touch. Put your hands on. So, yes, you treat it. You know it's there. But that don't mean you fear it. That means you respect it. You, you know it's there. You take the precautionary that you, precautions that you need to take to protect yourself. But you don't operate in fear of it. You operate in faith in God. Put your faith in God. Don't panic because they say a, vir a, vir a, a virus is coming and you panic and do things that don't make sense. Fear. Because of fear. So we got to stop. We got to stop the fear. We got to stop the fearing. 
If you're going to fear, fear God. That's the beginning of wisdom. If you're going to fear anybody, fear God. Don't fear the coronavirus. Don't fear the, pan the pandemic. Fear God. Put your trust, your trust in God. Put your faith in God. It's time to stop singing the songs, I believe him and really believe him. We got James Kino sung a song years ago, Where is Your Faith? It's time for us not to do a self inventory, a self check, a self analysis on our faith and find out where our faith is. And to see if our faith is in God and His Word or is our faith in the report of man. Because if our report is the faith of man, if we're basing our faith on the report of man, then we're going to have problems. We're going to have situations and circumstances. But we put our faith in God. God is faithful. He's a God that keeps covenant. So I'm going to ask you a simple question, and I'm winding up. Where is your faith? Is it in God, or is it in man? And one more thing I'll say this too. It's good to trust the government to do what the government is trying to do. I thank God for what the government is trying to do. I even thank God for President Trump saying on yesterday was a National Day of Prayer. But here's the thing that's really key here. The government is an entity that's trying to do everything it's power, it is power it can do. But what's key is, is the people of God that has the ability and the power and the potential to change things on our needs. We can change things. But if we're panicking instead of fading, F-A-I-T-H-I-N-G, fading, operate in faith, if we are panicking instead of having faith in God, we're going to change things too, but for the negative. But if we have faith in God and trust God, we will change things for the positive. So where's your faith? Who's your faith in? See, it's easy to flip it and say, oh, I believe in God. But do we really believe in God? And I put myself in that there too. Do I really believe God? Or do I believe the report of man. Then Isaiah said, whose report do you believe? Julius, whose report do you believe? John, whose report do you believe? Mary, whose report do you believe? God is faithful. He would not let us down. He would not desert us. He said, I'll be with you all the way, even until the end of the world. He said that he would do it, and he's sure to his word. Amen. When you hear bad news, don't panic. I know it's human nature to panic. I know it's human nature to go into fear. But don't panic. Have faith in God. As Brother Kenneth said, I love you. God bless you. Is my prayer. <laughs>